Rossi's solution is saying that u e is constant. Okay, what does that mean to alpha? Right, alpha has to be equal to zero. So that simplifies us to this term is gone. All the alphas are gone. So minus theta times phi times second order derivative of phi would be equal to zero and the new partial cube phi partial y cube, right? So we get something that only has two terms. That only happens to a flat plate. You are exactly right. Right, because due dx is equal to alpha times ue. So alpha is kind of the rate of change in the x direction when you scale y properly. Right, so 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 alpha. The physical meaning of alpha is you have a velocity profile like that, and uh, after a little bit, it be becomes like that. So if you have a line that connects the same locations, by same means the same location relative to the growth of the y profile. What is the derivative of how? how what is the rate of increase of that velocity? So if u e is constant, the rate of increase has to be zero actually anywhere in the boundary in the boundary layer. If you look at the same location, uh, in terms of the percentage of the boundary layer, then it has to be the same, right? It's not, it's not just uh, self-similar. It's almost self-identical to a, uh, to a y scaling. 